Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Um, normally I do a lot of um, diatonic chord progressions in my songs and I still kind of like it, but sometimes you want to go off the grid and want to use some kind of modal chord progressions and it's actually easier um, than you might think because you can just stack, for instance, um, major chords and use only major chords in your chord progression and you end up with a modal chord progression that, that's not in a scale. And I usually do this for um, some kind of liquid drum bass tunes um, where you need some kind of uh, yeah, jazzy chord progressions that sound yeah smooth and happy but at, but at the same time a bit jazzy and uh, dissonant. So. I usually go with this here for a multi note and just dial in a major chord uh, 0, 4, and 7. And this is a super simple, um, basic major chord with uh, nothing on it. And just take your polysynth just to have some kind of sound. And I also have my MIDI keyboard on. You can, see, can hear it's a basic chord, right? It's nothing. Nothing special. Uh, maybe unison a bit here. And this already is, is, is a modal chord progression because we only play major chords and when you play in a scale you have to switch between major chords and minor chords all the time at the right root notes. But here we have always, always major chords. So what I do mostly to get this jazzy feel to it, I'm basically cloning this major chord here and stack it on top of this chord, but seven semitones transposed. So I'm using here another multi note and just take the same chord as here with a zero transposition. And then I use seven here and basically stack the same chord, seven semitones on top. So this sounds like this. And it sounds a bit more jazzy, right? Because you have, it's not really clear if it's a minor chord or major chord, it's something in between. It's not really decided on what it is because you have uh, sometimes here uh, major thirds in there and then plus seven here you have at some point also um, intervals of minor uh, minor thirds in there so it's not really decided what it is and if you want to you can stick here a diatonic transposer in between and just say maybe just correct this here to minor chords when it's needed or if you want to have it all completely diatonic, then you have to put this here on the end. But then you lose a lot of spiciness and um, it sounds too straight. So I just keep removing this here and we only play with static um, chord shapes at the moment. And what I usually then do is I use my rap preset that's available also uh, in the description below. I also made a video about this, how this works and why it works. Uh, but the short explanation is you basically pitch down, uh, pitch down and pitch up notes that are out of the current octave. So um, at the moment, everything between C3 and C4 is allowed with this wrapper. But when a note goes above C4, like this, it gets pitched down to C3, right? So if you go to D4, for, for instance, um, it's, it got pitched pitch down to D3 and so on. Also, if you go down here to A, it's exactly pitched up one octave higher. So you always stay with all your notes within C3 and C4, which kind of, which kind of leads to um, an auto inversion tool, kind of, and you also, um, create here a bass note two octaves below and the root note is used for the bass. So now it sounds like this. So this is before and this is after. So there are a lot of voices playing so I'm maybe pull this down or even use a peak limiter at the end just to make sure. 
Pull this down a bit. Now the thing is because we are playing so many notes, a lot of notes are actually at the same position as the chord before. So it always sounds like kind of a pleasing transitioning from one chord to the other. And when I show you here what I play on the keyboard, let's use here this one. Um, you can even use the, the black keys sometimes to get some more spiciness in there. But all you have to do is to find combinations That's, that sound good. Um, so yeah, that's basically an easy trick for some nice um, liquid drum bass <laughs> chord progressions. Maybe I put in here small drum loop. Um, let's see, maybe I have a yeah, liquid. Uh, something like this. 172. Loop this and maybe record something here. Oh, it's the wrong starting point, I see. I think it's a nice chord progression and it's already a modal chord progression so it's not within a scale so the only hard time you have now is basically to play a melody on top of that because it's not in a scale you just can pick a scale and then play these notes and um, um, yeah improvise on top you have to make sure that you play the right notes over each of these chords here because you switch between different uh, scales um, all the time. So you can use the note grid for that, of course. Um, there it is. And then say I want to uh, use a quantizer here. At least that's, that's what I do all the time. Use a quantizer here and then select the quantizer and use note input here and then select the chord track course we want to use the note wrap output here and then you can use here a polysynth or whatever instrument you want to use um, maybe put a delay on it and then you can use your MIDI keyboard If you press the wrong notes or the chord changes, then the pitch quantizer drags the note with it, right? So you have, if, you, if, if I basically hold the note here and then the chord changes and the chord doesn't allow this note, then um, you create another note by the chord change. So I'm just holding now here the note of D and see what happens here when the chord changes. Just holding D here. So the sound's sometimes a bit off. Um, 
so I usually also use a lag here after the pitch quantizer to bring in some kind of um, yeah glide. play a bit on the key keyboard and find a sweet spot um, on how many notes you have to play and what kind of notes and sometimes you have to just record it and then edit it in the piano roll to find you know the right position so you don't have to uh, do, so you don't have all these uh, glitches in there sometimes when the chord changes and you're not prepared for it <laughs> in the melody so yeah so this is something you can do here uh, with the note grid and I do this sometimes um, when I do liquid drum bass tunes or these kind of jazzy sounds uh, it's not only for liquid drum bass but when you when you go for this jazzy sound and you have no idea how jazz works and you still want to have this kind of flavor in your tune then this is a nice workflow to start with so to, to get you basically started um, can also um, try to create inside the note grid maybe or in the poly grid um, and yeah and generative patch basically and yeah correct this with the with the um, with the quantizer um, attenuate that's what we need you need to sample and hold the quantizer and here also you switch basically to use note input from your polysynth note wrap and uh, then we need here sign sign mod it's also nice maybe a trigger another one And let's trigger this. Maybe put here also a delay on it. super easy actually to to create some kind of this flavor in Bitwig Studio just by um, using the multi notes here in uh, serial mode using this note wrap and like I said this is a preset here you can download for free I think um, I also made a video about this um, how it works and how you can create it because it's a bit fairly complex um, Another trick here is also um, that's not included in the in the wrap preset is that you can just disconnect this here, and then you can say, well, the added bass, which is this button here, right, where we add here a bass note, you can play this on channel number two, uh, note channel number two, and then you can create here a bass sound um, like a polymer, for instance. 
polymer and you can receive the note from the first track after the note wrap here and then you use a channel filter Let's say we only want to play the bass with this instrument here maybe put this here to monophonic mode Then you can maybe use an arpeggiator if you want to, or note repeats to make this note a bit more interesting. So we have like here, um, maybe switch this to that so we can hear the tags. That's too, too, too fast, of course. So maybe we switch this here to Euclid mode. And I always like to rotate here this a bit, so not the first note is not on the one, right? So we have a bit of offset here. Activate the gate so the note is, is longer. Something like this. Something like this. So I want to show you just your basically a trick how you get this jazzy feel into your tracks and uh, how you can use the multi note for that without using a diatronic transposer, creating some kind of modal chord progression using the note wrap here to make it smooth, to make smooth chord progressions. Um, then using here the pitch quantizer to create some kind of um, yeah, melody on top while still maintaining the grand uh, chord scale and um, then also using this here for a kind of a generative patch and using polymer to just grab the bass note of the note wrap here so a small little workflow just for the jazzy flavor inside the studio so that's it for this video thanks for watching guys hope you learned something new leave a like if you like the video Leave a comment if you have some questions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.